following is an optimization problem where we want to minimize the cost to make a rectangular box. An open rectangular box with square ends must hold 6,400 cubic feet. The material for the base costs 75 cents per square foot, and the material for the sides costs 25 cents per square foot. Find the dimensions that result in the smallest cost for the material. We want to minimize the cost, so that's our primary equation. So primary equation is for the cost. Well, we need the length, width, and height of the box. So we can label them L, W, and H. So our equation for cost is going to be the cost of the base, which is length times width for the area, times 75 cents per square foot. So 0 0.75 times width times length, plus we have the two ends of the box, which are an area of H multiplied by W, times 2 times 25 cents per square foot, so plus 2 times 0 0.25 times h times w. And now we have the front and the back, which are a height of h and length. So two of those at 25 cents times h times l. There's our cost. We have three variables, width, length, and height. We need secondary equations to eliminate two of those variables. So secondary equations. We have two pieces of information we can use. First of all, we have square sides. There it is, square ends. Square means that length, or sorry, height and width, height and width are the same because the ends are square. So if this is a square and this is a square, H and W are equal. So we can replace all the W's with H, or all the H with W's, however we want to do it. So another equation that we have is using this, which is the volume. We know the volume of a box is L times W times H, and that has equal 6,400. We know that H and W are the same, so if we replace H here, we end up with L times W squared equals 6,400, which we can solve for L to get 6,400. over w squared. Okay, so here's L. We can plug that in for L. For H, we'll put in W, and that will give us a primary equation with W as the only variable. So, rewrite the equation for cost. We end up with 0 0.75 W multiplied by 6400 over w squared plus 2 times that one, so we're going to write it as 0.5. For h, we're going to put in w. w is already there, so that becomes w squared. Plus 2 times that is 0 0.5. For h, we're going to put in w. And for l, we're going to put in 6400 over W squared. Now to save us some time here, we'll skip some of the algebra steps, but if we reduce these to just over W, we see that these terms are actually common, so we can multiply here and add. And when we simplify as much as we can, we end up with 8,000 
over W plus 0.5 W squared. Once we get the primary equation with one variable, we take the derivative. The derivative here is negative 8,000 over W squared plus 2 times a half is 1, so we can just write W. Next step after the derivative is make the derivative equal to 0. If we set the derivative equal to 0. Continue over here. We get 0 equals negative 8,000. Let's separate that a little bit there. Negative 8,000 over W squared plus W. Primary equation, derivative, make it 0. Now we solve for W. Move this piece over, cross multiply. We get W cubed equals 8,000, which tells us W is 20. And our units are feet. Now we need h and l. Well, we know that h is equal to w, so h has to also be 20 feet. And using this secondary equation, we can find that l, when we put in 20 here, has to be 16 feet. So the dimensions are 16 by 20 by 20.